Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And on this episode, we're gonna be hitting some more things on the inside. What I'm gonna be doing on this episode, I'm gonna be removing the door panels. And uh, since I haven't found the new door panels, uh, 2008 to 16 yet, um, I'm gonna go ahead and basically install the kill mat. We're gonna use this stuff right here. We're gonna kill mat the doors the metal stuff on the inside behind the uh, the panels do that one and that one do the back ones and then i might even remove uh, that panel right there and do the same thing on the back here uh, and then put it back on put the door, door panels back on that way i can at least drive the truck and then when i do find the door panels then i'm going to go ahead and swap these door panels to the to the newer style 2008 uh, door panels because right now it's raining season and I have some seats outside underneath the cover but still they get a little bit wet when it's raining so I want to go ahead and actually just start driving the truck put everything inside that I can that way none of the things are getting wet let's see for comparison how the door sounds without any uh, kill mat installed this is door closed I mean it's pretty decent it's not horrible This how it sounds closing with nothing upgraded. The fronts always sound a little bit looser. Let me try the other side real quick. And this one has no door panel, but this one actually sounds a little bit better. And, the, and these do have some kind of one piece uh, sound deadening installed. I mean, maybe, yeah, it helps a tiny bit, but I wanna see if I can actually uh, put some more here on the inside and put some on the outside. And then I'm probably gonna uh, cut out a hole right here, like a service hole, so I can serv service the locks uh, when I need to probably later. Because I think the newer ones, they have like a square cut out right here. I'm going to see exactly where. I'm going to probably just copy the same thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start removing the door panels, remove the carpet, clean things up, and start remove and start installing the kill mat. And then we'll see what we get. Alrighty, let's go.
All right, guys, and the doors are done. Kill mat is installed outside, inside. I put a few, as, as much as I could on the inside as well because that would make a huge difference. And I tucked them in, you know, just three sheets on top. I think I, I, think I did like maybe one sheet on the bottom and I kind of sliced it in half. But that's, you know, I'm doing this basically like I'm doing this for myself. Uh, and I want the truck to be as quiet as possible, as dense as possible, so I can keep all the sound out, all the heat out, and you know it's going to be a lot better in the summer and a lot better in the winter, and it's going to be more more enjoyable uh, to drive. Now this hole right here, I cut out on the newer uh, doors. The square is actually a little bit smaller. I think I, I cut it a little bit too big. Uh, not a big deal, uh, but it'll be a lot easier to reach uh, the actual door lock actuators because. Eventually, I'll be fixing those as well because uh, all four of my actuator door locks are, are not working. Uh, so I'll be playing with that as well. Back doors are done as well. It was a little bit tighter on the back doors to get on the inside of the door, obviously, because it's a smaller space, tighter uh, holes, smaller holes. Uh, but I did the best I can to get as many um, kill mat panels in there as I could and it made a huge difference. On the back as well where the lock is, I cut out a hole as well. I believe on the newer, newer doors, there's no hole here, but I went ahead and cut one out uh, just for the future. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to get to the back uh, door locks over here as well. Now here's the driver door. It's not done, no kill mat installed yet. Here's what it sounds like. Sounds like a tin can, closes kind of, Here's the back door, also not done yet. And here are the finished doors with kill mat installed, ready to go. Closes so much better, so much quieter. Feels more like a solid truck, more like a newer truck kind of feel to it. It's just so much, so much more enjoyable. I'm still gonna work on the weather stripping a little bit later to see if I can improve that. If something is flopping inside here when you close the door, it can be improved a little bit, but it is what it is. The door is 10 times better as it is, and I'll be improving later. Once I find the new door panels, I'll be replacing them as well, and then I'll fine tune the doors. <clears throat> all right, and the door is all finished. Nice. And when I'll be doing uh, the new door panels, I'm gonna be changing uh, the weather stripping right here. And I might even change the weather stripping around uh, the doors as well. I mean, the door jams, because this is pretty, you know, pretty floppy and old. Uh, so I might uh, get this re replaced. And it's gonna be even tighter and might close a lot better. So we'll see, that's gonna make a difference. Here's a quick little view of the inside with a dash, back seats. It's getting there, it's getting there. It's taking some time, but it's getting there. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be, hopefully it's gonna be a nice quiet truck on the inside. I'm doing my best here to make it as quiet as possible. And yeah, the gray and tan doesn't really go that well, but uh, yeah, once I find the door panels, gray door panels, maybe black door panels, uh, then I'll start uh, doing all the plastics and everything else, headliner, all the good stuff and finish that up. So now my next step after this video is to get the dash out, finalize the wiring on the inside, put it back in permanently and then uh, start putting in the seats and everything else, and then I can start driving it. All right guys, here we go, and the doors are done. Sound ending is done on the inside of the skin, outside of the skin, so we got about, we got what, two layers of sound deadening on the doors from Kill Mat. We got the firewall done, uh, but before we installed the dash, uh, I did the firewall with, with Kill Mat, then I put foam over that, and then I put a third layer of uh, factory sound deadener over that. So that's triple layered protected. 
and I got foam on the floor underneath the carpet and we got new carpet installed uh, in the whole truck. And so now the only thing left to do is the headliner and do kill mat sound deadening on the roof. And I'm probably gonna do foam over the, of, uh, the roof uh, panels. And then I'm gonna see if I can install I have a headliner from 20, uh, 2011 headliner. I'm gonna see if I can uh, clean that up, see if I can get that installed. If not, then I'll probably have to find a newer headliner. So guys, that'd be it for this episode. If you wanna see more F350 content, go to the playlist. And I got all that stuff in the playlist there, whatever you want, all the little mods that I did, everything that I that I did in the past on this truck, that's gonna be all there. Or you can just type Fix It Nick F350 and then type in uh, whatever mod uh, you're thinking of. And I got possibly, yeah, I've done it and it's gonna be on my channel. So guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.